I'm here in downtown Clovis and things are starting to kind of move a little bit. You can see the traffic uh, going and that is a good thing with this third lockdown. It is so easy to get discouraged through all of this. But I want to tell you that there's an organization called Liberty Coalition that is trying to unify our community. They're trying to develop a strategy and mobilize the people of this community. They met yesterday and had equal part spiritual leaders and elected officials along with citizens and it was a great great meeting things are moving people are beginning to stand up it is a great thing but it would be easy as i said to get discouraged in our devotional we see that uh sarah is going to see God do a miracle. He's going to see God move. And I think that this is what we need in our lives. So let's take a look at it and see how it can apply. In Genesis 21, 6, and Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that will hear will laugh with me. And so what is she laughing about? Well, she's laughing about the first thing she heard, that God was going to give her a child in her old age. And God did exactly that. Now, Let's think about Sarah, because often we just put her as this entity out there and we don't identify with her. What if we for a minute identified with Sarah? What if we just for a minute looked at Sarah and thought, could I be Sarah? Could I be the one that, one, didn't have enough faith to really believe God? Are there times in my life when I'm like that? And two, could I be the one that tried to bring about in my own mechanisms the blessings of God. We know this is exactly what she did. And so as we look at whether it's our community situation or our personal situation, could we look at that and go, how can I, in the situation that I'm in, completely trust in God? How can I have enough faith asking God to show up on the scene? How can I be the one that sees a miracle when no one else sees it? May God richly bless you. Let's pray God would show up in a big way. Take care.